Transforming your images into dynamic videos with Leonardo is easy. Welcome to the Eye for Winner channel. Today we will explore Leonardo AI image to video. You'll be able to create truly impressive video clips. First of all, create a new account. The link is in the description of this video or log in to your existing account. This is Leonardo AI homepage. There are two easy ways to access the motion tool right from here. The first is via the left-hand menu under AI Tools, while the second more prominent option is next to the Image Creation button at the center of the screen. Simply click that button and a quick how-to animation will appear. Once you acknowledge the instructions, it's time to select your source image. To begin, click the button labeled Select an Image in the center. This will open the Uploads tab, where you can choose from recently uploaded images. If you prefer to use an image from another source, like one you've created, a stock photo or a personal picture, click the corresponding button. Or you can select images from the Your Generations tab, which stores the images you previously created. If it's not immediately visible, you can scroll or search by the prompts you use to generate it. I will select an image that I just uploaded with other rice harvester, then I click Confirm. Now you'll need to set the motion strength. The range goes from 1 to 10, where 5 is moderate and 10 adds maximum movement, though with potential for unexpected results. I'll stick with 5 and keep private mode enabled. Once ready, click Generate. Afterward, the system will notify you where to find your new video, either on the AI General page or in your personal feed. Let's hit View Generation, where we can track its progress via the spinning icon. When complete, the animation will start. That's okay. I'll expand it to full screen for a better view. You see, the machine is harvesting rice. Looks quite real, doesn't it? The video is 4 seconds long, and if you want to save it, just click the MP4 download button. Let's try another image. This time, we'll go directly from the image creation page. I just type this prompt in here and click generate. As a result, I got two newly generated images. And as I hover over it, the film strip icon appears, allowing me to generate a motion video. I'll keep the motion strength at 5 and hit generate. Let's check it out. The results are much better than expected. That's our 4 seconds of animation. I've shown you how to locate the image to video tool from the home page. Now let me show you how to find it from your personal feed. So let's go back to the home page. I'll click on the personal feed. I'm showing this because the buttons are located in different places, unlike on the image creation page, where hovering gives you instant access to tools. On the personal feed page, you need to click on the image and look for the image to motion button to generate a video from the image. So click on that and it will take you to the motion tool where you can set the strength. I'll leave the strength at 5, keep it in private mode and hit generate. This time, I find the character's movement quite smooth. But I'm sure you're curious about what happens when we crank the motion strength up to 10. Let's grab another one. This is an image I created. Let's go ahead and click Image to Motion. This time, I'll set the strength to 10. And here is the result. Moving too fast made the girl's entire body seem as if it were melting. This is truly a nightmare. I believe Leonardo made the right choice calling this tool motion rather than video. It's more about injecting movement into still images than creating an actual video. While it qualifies as video since the image moves, its grasp of physics and anatomy is often shaky. Landscape scenes can turn out decently, especially when you have something like a parked car. It might give you a smooth pan around the vehicle. However, when it attempts to animate the car's movement, it tends to fall apart kind of like that tractor that ended up gliding down the road. Hope thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, 
please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel to receive the latest videos.